Hey y'all, I'm Kat. My husband and I moved our family from the city to the country hills of Kentucky to build our homestead, now Keto Inspired. David always says, A good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. That's exactly what we're doing on Keto Country Homestead. You ready to go check on those puppies? I'm Batman. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we have to do? We have to check and see how many puppies there are. Yeah. Check their genders. Yep. We have to put new shavings in Mama's doghouse. Uh huh. And then a blanket. Okay. Make sure the heater's still on, which it is. Okay. Fill up the heater. <laughs> yeah. And just make sure. Just make sure the puppies are doing good and check their overall health and all that. Which we already did some of earlier, but she was still birthing babies, so we had to come back inside and leave her alone because okay. she was kind of upset by us. So a census and a home welfare check. Yeah, sure. Got it. Can we All go right. see puppies now? Yes. Yes. Let's go see puppies now. Puppies. Okay, we're in here now, and we've got a little bit of a problem to deal with. Nothing major, nothing huge. Uh, nothing immediately pressing, but I'm pretty irritated with it because I'm not sure what to do. Maybe you guys can help me give me some suggestions. The door coming in here to the canning house, uh, well, that door is uh, bringing in water. A uh, lot. Yeah. A lot of water. So I'm not sure what to do about that. Uh, what you are witnessing here is the modern homesteader in his natural environment trying to think. You can tell that he has an idea by the redness on his neck. Ah, let's check in and see what he has come up with now. Yeah, I'm at a loss. All right, let's talk about puppies. Let's see what we got going on here. Try to get her to lay down. Let's get them last one. Good girl. That's good. I'm not gonna take a picture. She was so stressed. I felt terrible about that. Yeah. There we go. She's getting down. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. You fix that one's up there. Yes. So you can see right now, Cat is putting the, the puppies back up underneath Mama. Everything's good. Mama feels much safer now. Mama dog's doing well. Uh, but we're, we're making sure that the smallest pups are able to get to the best teats because we want them to obviously get as much nutrients as they can so they can, um, I don't need this thing on, it's not cold in here, so they can get healthy and strong and fat uh, as quickly as possible.
And I don't have the thermometer in here set up just yet. It's uh, warm. But yeah, it's about ooh, 60, 65 degrees. Uh, so yeah, I just got this hoodie on because I'm going in and out working on the uh, that front door. Yeah, she's still leaking some pretty dark blood. Well, that's very normal. Yeah. I didn't want to pick her out, take her out, and move her and stuff, but inside of this doghouse was really wet, and there was a lot of fluids and stuff in there. I really wanted to at least get a nice bed of shavings down. We didn't put the blanket down, though. That's fine. I didn't want to stress her out anymore, but, yeah. uh... The... Oh, poor girl. <laughs> Good girl. Now the puppies will be dry. They'll get dry faster, and, um... She'll probably be more comfortable. Yeah, she was so nervous and upset when we moved her puppies, and we hate doing that. Yeah. Uh, she was chattering her teeth so hard. I was trying to pet her head to calm her down. I could feel her skull vibrating, and it <laughs> she was, was so mad. Man, that wrecked my nerves. I hated doing that, but um, you know, it's for her good, it's for puppies good, and everything's back to normal, so it's okay. But uh, we really want to leave her and her puppies alone as much as possible and just let her do her job and let nature take its course and, and not upset her or stress her out. She's already been through a lot. But we did want to check their, but we did want to check their condition and I wanted to check their gender, but I'm going to have to do that a different day. She was just, she wants to relax and go to sleep. Yeah. And just be with her puppies. Yeah, we're just going to give her what she needs tonight, uh, which is plenty of space and, and warmth and, and, and quiet. But uh, obviously she knows what she's doing. She's taking good care of them. That little guy there on the end, can you maybe get him under a leg? This one? Yeah, he's struggling a little bit. There's one in here that has black, like black. Really? Yeah, oh, we've never cool. had one with black. It's awesome. Yes. When do you think we should, uh, you know, maybe take them inside and, and wash them, like a few days? Um, she'll clean them. Her leg, that's all like um, fluid, amniotic fluid. That's well, what all that green stuff is. The last litter. We, we didn't clean them until they were a couple of months old. Yes. And, uh, man, they were really dirty. She cleans them, but not as well as... Soap and water? <laughs> Warm water and Dawn soap, yeah. We'll just judge it as we go. Okay. I don't want to intervene unless we have to, really. Yeah, especially the first few days. I'm putting all these wood chips on the ground. I know it might seem a little weird, but... I'm soaking up the water that has come in here and making sure there's no space that the puppies could get hurt if they come out, which yeah. they won't for several days at least, usually a week or two. Also, this is just really good, you know, insulation. Yes. So, um, yeah, this is a slab concrete floor. It can get pretty cold, uh, but that'll help um, keep the cold out and keep the heat in, uh, especially around Mama Dog's house. Uh, but speaking of water, I'm going to get back outside and get to uh, get to cleaning up that uh, that water area. See if we can get the water going around the canning house instead of straight through the door. And uh, like I said, if you guys see any anything that uh, <clears throat> you can help me with or give me some suggestions or ideas, I'd be glad to hear it. I don't like seeing water coming here, so hopefully I can fix that right now. This is real life puppies, dirty, dirty puppies. She'll clean them up overnight and then they'll be nice and white and clean in the morning. But she is so tired, so I'm gonna put her top back on, put a cover on it and let her go to sleep with her puppies. <laughs> She's getting all snuggled down now. She goes to sleep. Okay, you can see where I pull these two patio blocks up. It was flush with this top block here and the water was just flowing over and spilling into this. So I'm gonna try to dig this out a little bit here on the side and see if I can get the water to run this way off to the side. Hashtag homestead life. Is it still raining? Yeah. 
Mm. Not very much. Though. Barely sprinkling, actually. Here comes Daddy Dog. Yeah. Want to see what's going on? There's Daddy with muddy paws. He's been digging somewhere. Help Daddy dig. Yeah. He's like. Training the bite bad guys. I forgot to train them how to dig. <laughs> you use those babies. Get this corner and then I'll I'll break that dam. Okay, still out here in the cold, dark rain, and uh, you can see I've dug a trench here, pulled these patio blocks up where the water was just washing across the patio blocks right over this this block under the door and straight in there. So uh, I think now if you come closer with that light, all I gotta do is break this and the water should spill over into this and wash downhill on the side. So let's see if that's going to work for us. I see it moving. Oh yeah, <laughs> that works. Oh, yeah. Not too bad, and I've already dug this out some here also. going down the side yeah that's great that's what we wanted all right and I'm gonna pull this mound of dirt back just a little bit further so it doesn't wash in there and you're gonna put the patio blocks back right yes so we'll be able to still this step is a, on them and use them yeah this is a hazard zone the hose isn't over here is it no it's yeah it is it's right here give her a call then yeah <laughs> oh jokes farm jokes Him the hoe, please. No. Right, where is it? I'll get it. It is definitely working. If you like digging holes in the middle at of the like night, 11 o'clock at night, when it's cold and wet, then the homestead life is definitely for you. And you can too for just 99, 99, 99. 12 small pans. Just try to flatten this back out a little bit. We do have to shut that door as soon as possible. I know. It's not too cold, but it's cold. Actually, it could be closed right now. Well, it's gonna wait. Oh, 
Well, the water won't go in there anymore. So. Yeah, it's not puddled anymore. So. Awesome. Let's see what we got. I'm ready to put this uh, this old boy to, to bed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks for all your support and prayers. Leave a comment. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna stand in the rain until you do. No, I'm just kidding, I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> but I pray that you do. Join our little keto family. Sure would like your support. Thanks again, guys. Have a good night. God bless.